The Duke Blue Devils, the football team has 25 wins over their past three years. What's the next step David Cutcliffe's program can take? I'm Jeff Fischel here on the ACC Digital Network. And joining me for this spring football update to talk Duke, well, it is former Duke football player Dave Harding now covering the Blue Devils for the Blue Devil Network. Dave, you're looking great, my man. You said you've trimmed a little now that your career is on camera. you got to be looking slim and, and you got a good fighting weight going now, right? Yeah, Jeff, a few, uh, a little fewer trips to the buffet and I'm doing well. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about some changes on the football field since last season. Anthony Boone, two-year starter quarterback, gone. Jamison Crowder, gone. Lakin Tomlinson, one of your cohorts up front on the offensive line, gone. Those are some big shoes to fill. Have you seen guys who are ready to step in? Absolutely. Starting at the quarterback position with Anthony Boone leaving, Thomas Sirk has done an excellent job stepping in not only from an on-the-field perspective, but a leadership uh, side of things as well. Along the offensive line, losing not only Lakin Tomlinson, but also to Kobe Cofield at left tackle. We've had some young guys stepping in there. Coach Cutcliffe has done an excellent job of bringing in people that can contribute at an early stage of their college career. So losing big time playmakers like Jameson Crowder doesn't hurt just as much as it used to. Yeah, the spring football scrimmage, and first of all, it wasn't spring, it was still winter, because that's how it Coach was. Cut likes it. But secondly, two big names who weren't there, their guys were expecting back. Braxton Deaver and Kelby Brown, he, they can have big impacts this fall. They can, and they have already have had big impacts on this 2015 football team from a leadership perspective. Losing both of them last year really hurt, and I think you'd have seen a few more wins throughout the season if they were still on the squad. Both of those guys bring in electricity, uh, both, you know, one being on offense, the other on defense, bring that spark, and having them just around spring practice really had a, a, a big impact, and I think their skills on the field are going to just really play major dividends come the fall. Okay, we've seen a 10 win season. Like I said, 25 wins over the last three years. Where is the bar set for this season? Each year, the bar has been raised. I think the most exciting thing is, yeah, you, you make it to the Sun Bowl. You have a, a great year last year, and they're hungry for more. They're looking to get back to the ACC championship game, to win the ACC championship game, continually to check things off the list that Coach Cutcliffe and staff and those teams have done a great job of checking off, but there's still a few more that are left out there that this team is committed to getting. All right, hey, Dave Harding, great preview of the upcoming season. Great talk about spring football, again, even though it was in the winter. Uh, really appreciate it, and great work on the Blue Devil Network. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. All right, you're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home of ACC football. For must -see moments, click the box on the left. For game highlights, click the box on the right. And for everything else from the ACC Digital Network, subscribe now. Do it!